What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldessar here. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about what watches to wear to your wedding. And this is of course gonna be based on a lot of my opinions, but I would love to see comments down below about watches that you would wear. So what I'm gonna be doing is going through every different kind of price tier, giving some options. I'm not gonna be able to go through all the options, but just a few ones that I enjoy. Of course, these are going to be my opinion. So I guess opinions can't be wrong, but I'm sure I'm gonna get people in the comments saying, these are horrible choices. I hope you never get married. But I know how the things go on YouTube. So. Leave comments down below. I still would love to see them. Love to see a discussion down there. But guys, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys. So for our first price range, we have under $150. And for the first option is the Seiko SNKL 23. So I think it's just a great looking, kind of tuxedo looking watch. And it is probably one of the favorites in this line. I think I would go with the gold casing one because I think it looks a little bit more elegant. But with just this watch, it really is a lot for the money. And I think it just looks way more expensive than what the price tag indicates. Next, we have two more watches from the Seiko. The two references I'm looking at are the SUP 896 and the SUP 880. And they're square watches actually. And they're interesting ones because they're solar powered, but I think both of them have really thin cases. So 6.1 from the 880 and 7.5 from the 896. And then in addition to that, they both retail under a hundred dollars and just look very elegant. They have that Cartier tank kind of look. And I think for the price point, you know, these are great options, and I think they can be used in a lot of different scenarios, even past your wedding day. I know some people will say, Teddy, where's the Orient Bambino? I think that might not be the best choice for a wedding watch for me. Um, I'm kind of looking for like thin watches as well as ones that aren't going to be as large on the wrist. So being 40 millimeters for a dress watch, I think that's a little bit large. And then also on top of that, they have that dome crystal. So I wanted to really slide underneath the cuff and kind of have a low profile. So I thought, you know, of course, Orient Bambino, always a great option. So now under $500. And for this, I think there are some awesome vintage pieces that you can find under $500. They might not be from brands that you're familiar with, but during that quartz crisis era, so like that 60s to 70s era, a lot of these mechanical watchmaking companies are going under. You can find some really interesting finds in that region for dress watches. So that's just one thing to look out for. And then a couple contemporary pieces to look at. I think one is the Timex Marlin, but I like the blackout version when we're talking about a wedding scenario. I think this is just a really clean looking watch, manual wound, 34 millimeter case. It'll be small on the wrist, really traditional sizing. And I think it just is a classic look. And I like the black uh, dial as well. I think that's a nice change up from the ordinary silver dial that we often see it in. And the other option is the Tissot Everytime Swissmatic. I just like the simple look of this watch. I think it's relatively affordable in this price range, coming in at just around $250. And I'm a big fan of this watch. If I would have known about this watch uh, when I, before I spent a lot more money on dress watches, I would have absolutely looked at this one and given it a really hard look for consideration. So now we have under $1,000. And for a contemporary piece, I would look at the Seiko Presage line. Uh, the SPB 047 is a great option. Great looking, elegant watch with the Roman numerals on the dial. And I think it's just a great all around watch as well when you're thinking about going forward even after your wedding day. Really awesome looking watch. Also have much cheaper watches from the Presage line that you can look at. And then in addition to that, um, I love the Mito Baroncelli. So Mito is just a brand that I think is totally overlooked. The Baroncelli Heritage is just one of the best looking watches I think you can find at this price range. So definitely take a look at it. It has a case uh, height under seven millimeters. So it's gonna be really thin on the wrist. And I think that's what you're gonna be wanting to look for for this you know, elegant kind of piece during your wedding day. And then in terms of vintage pieces, Vintage long jeans, again, fantastic. I think a lot of people forget that long jeans during this time was battling right alongside Omega and Rolex um, during like the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and it was really held in that ilk um, with them. So don't really consider that when you're thinking about contemporary timepieces, but brand with great heritage. And also take a look at Omega. Omega Seamasters, DeVille's, as well as Geneve's, all can be found in this price range, and I think they're great options for you when you're looking for a great dress watch for the occasion. All right, so our next price range is under $2,500, and you guys know I love Nomos. You guys always give me a hard time for how much I mention Nomos, but this is my opinion after all, and I think you absolutely have to look at Nomos in this price range. Uh, the Nomos Orion, the Nomos Ludwig, 
two fantastic options, have two kind of different looks, but also kind of look very similar. Um, the Orion is a watch that I own. I own the 35 millimeter version, fits really well. It wears much bigger than 35 millimeters uh, would indicate. You also have a 38 millimeter option. So these are also gonna be powered by in-house movements. They're alpha manual winding movements. And I think if you're combining value versus just overall appeal and their aesthetic, you really can't do much better than these. Another watch I, I think that is, again, overlooked, a brand that's overlooked is the Frederick Constant. And their slimline moon phase watch is absolutely fantastic to look at. Uh, you're getting a moon phase as well from just a brand that I think is really overlooked. I mean, they produce in-house movements. This watch, of course, retails a little bit above this, but you can absolutely find it um, well under $2,500 on the used market. And it really is just an elegant looking timepiece. I've been able to see one of these in person once and I was just really impressed with it and love the look of them. So another brand to check out. And then again, for vintage watches, Omega. Again, I love Omega in this price range from like the $1,000 to $2,500. I own a Omega Constellation, which is a great option during this price range. I have a Arrowhead uh, 14393 uh, reference, and I love it, love the watch. Um, it really just screams that 60s era uh, in which it was uh, descending from, and it's a watch I wear regularly, and I think Omega in this price range is a great option for you if you're looking for a dress watch to wear on your wedding day. So now under $5,000, and the first watch is from another brand, underrated as can be, is Zenith. And the watch I'm talking about is the Zenith Elite Ultra Thin. In-house movement, and arguably probably one of the most underrated brands of all time. It looks fantastic on the wrist, and I think it's a great option for your wedding day. Another underrated brand underneath the Richemont Group is Baum and Mercier. And I'm gonna be looking at their Clifton watch. It's just a great and classy looking watch. And from a brand that I think, again, is very overlooked. But my favorite watch in this under $5,000 price range is no doubt vintage IWC. And the watches that I think you should be looking for are their 89 caliber powered watches. So this is a caliber that was used uh, as kind of basically a production in a lot of their field watches during the 40s when these were being on the wrists of uh, British officers and was repurposed during the 40s, 50s, 60s, and early 70s. It was dis This caliber was discontinued in 74, but you can find probably one of the probably one of the best manual wound movements of this era and arguably the best from IWC and what they've ever produced in some of these watches. And I think a lot of these dress pieces from IWC, some of the most elegant looking watches, possibly not from the brand, but in general, all time that you can find at this price range. They're just fantastic to look at. I have pulled the trigger on one of these watches and I am really in love with them. So another great option for you if you're looking for a really classic looking design from a brand with a ton of heritage. Now for under $10,000, I, I know that some people say, oh, pretty unoriginal picks, but I do think they're just perfect for the occasion. And that is the Cartier Tank Louis and the JLC Reverso. Two watches that are iconic in their design and from brands that are just as iconic to match. And there's something about square watches and just their elegance, the, the, how thin these watches are. If you see somebody wearing a JLC Reverso or a Cartier Tank Louis from farther away, you recognize the case. And if you're thinking about maybe the perfect, not only dress watch, but the perfect wedding watch, these are at the top of the list, not only for myself, but I know for a lot of people out there. All right guys, so now over $10,000 and these are just a couple opinions of mine. I think there's a lot of options I could have went with because I think at this price range, there are just some incredible watches that you can go for, but I picked two to start. So the first one is from Vacheron Constantin and that is the Patrimony. So this is, has all of the marks of a great dress watch, elegant with a very thin case under seven millimeters and from one of the greatest watchmaking companies in the world. And out of the three, Patek, AP, I think Vacheron does get overlooked a good amount and I, I don't really see why. I, I think I see Vacherons on a lot of older gentlemen's wrists, but I would definitely rock one of these watches as a younger guy. Um, I mean, I don't know who wouldn't. And lastly, we have probably my favorite watch on the list. Uh, may maybe, this and the Cartier Tank, I think would be my two choices, but the Longa Saxonia Thin. So this is a watch that comes in with two different case sizes. You either have a 40 millimeter option or a 37 millimeter option. And this watch is a true marvel on the wrist in terms of how thin it is. It's 5.9 millimeters thick. 
which is crazy thin. And when you're thinking about the caliber movement in here, their caliber L093.1, this is the thinnest watch that Langa has ever produced and it has one of the cleanest looking dials I've ever seen. And being true to German form, it's not overdone. It just is simple, but it, there's so much there when you look at it. It's just a fantastic looking piece and a great option if you're looking for the perfect wedding watch. All right, guys, well, that is my list. Those are my opinions. I would love to hear your opinions down below. Of course, I mentioned more dress watches. I think that's more my style, but also I think it does fit within the social norms and expectations of what we think people should wear on their wedding day, but I think it's all up to you. Whatever you wanna wear, I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. What would be maybe your perfect wedding watch or what did you wear uh, on the day of your wedding? That'd be a really cool conversation down there. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Also hit that bell icon so you know when I release content for the future. Be sure to check out my Instagram. Be sure to send me a message on there. Feel free to follow me. And then on top of that, check out our Patreon. That all supports the channel. We have some sweet perks on there. Private live streams, discounts on the upcoming store with all the straps, and some just great ways to help support this new generation of watch lovers that are emerging. And that's what we're really trying to tackle here on this channel. So any support there supports all of us. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.